Number 225. Can you just imagine Emily Dickinson? She, in her, her, she grew up wealthy. Her father was a prominent attorney, businessman, uh, served a term in the United States Congress. You can visit her house in Amherst, Massachusetts, not too far from here. For $100, you can spend an hour in her bedroom all alone. Um, in, in the place where she wrote about 1,800 just marvelous poems. She stitched them together and put them in her desk drawers, and that's what she did. She mailed a few off to friends. A couple made it into newspapers without her knowledge or consent. Um, but really, she was writing poetry for one person, herself. I'm wife. I finished that the other state. I'm czar. I'm woman now. It's safer so. Does getting married make a girl a woman? How odd the girl's life looks behind this soft eclipse. So looking back, she's saying, even though she was never married, she's writing here from the perspective of a married woman. I think the earth feels so to folks in heaven now. This being comfort then, the other kind was pain. But why compare? I'm wife, stop there. Interesting poem and the reason she ends it that way, I'm wife, stop there, is because she's comparing being married and not being married. And so far it's going so pretty good, right? She's convincing herself being married's better, but she knows where it's headed, so she stops. Because she's married, so she wants to remain convinced. She wants to continue to convince herself that it was the right choice. But if you're convincing yourself that something was the right choice, it probably wasn't.